Good to see you, Howard. Thanks. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for coming in. Good work. Thank everybody for making it out today. This is really about saying thank you. Thank you to the men and women who put their lives on the line every day to keep our community safe, both here and abroad. Those people who work in our police and our EMS and our firefighters, our veterans. This is our chance as a community to come here and say a huge thank you. And I'm going to call up some people right now if I could. The president of the Royal Canadian Legion Branch 322, our host today, Bruce Sharp, who's the president. Bruce, could you come on up? The president of the Ajax Professional Fire Association, Dan Bonner. The president of the Pickering Professional Firefighters Association, Bruce Kingsman. With the Durham Regional Police Services, Inspector Steve Ross. The Deputy Chief Assistant Director of the Durham Region Emergency Medical Services, Steve McKinley. Uh, with uh, uh, Doug Corrigan, who's the Vice President of the Toronto Police Association. Damian Walsh, who's with the Toronto Professional Firefighters Association. And Pete Elliott, who's with the Canadian Forces and spearheading a uh, legacy for the Highway of Heroes. Ladies and gentlemen, some of the people who are representing our local heroes, let's give them a big hand. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me my great pleasure to introduce the leader of the Liberal Party, the next Prime Minister of Canada, Mr. Michael Ignatio. Boy, what a welcome. Is it ever good to see you? Susanna and I are just so pleased to see you here on a hot, what is this, Thursday afternoon? It's great to have you here. It's also great to stand in the parking lot of a great Canadian institution, the Legion. My, my uncle took the salute at the Legion Hall every Remembrance Day for 40 years in a small town in Quebec. I know what the Legion contributes to our country, and I thank the Legion for everything they do. I'm also so proud to stand here with a couple of good public servants. There's a fellow called Dan McTeague, who you may know something about. He's a good public servant. And there's a good guy called Mark Holland. And I'm proud to stand with them in the House of Commons of Canada and fight for this region. But I'm even more proud to stand here today with members of our uniformed public service. The people who keep us safe. The people who put their lives on the line every day of the year so that we can live secure and safe in the greatest country in the world. I've got a whole bunch of MPs and candidates here and we are all proud that we are in elected public service, in elected public office. And sometimes we put our reputations on the line, sometimes we have to take risks on your behalf, but none of us elected public servants ever takes the risk day by day that these brave men and women in uniform do. And I want you to salute them and I want you to give them the biggest round of applause. There you go. It's our way of saying thank you. Thank you, thank you for what you do. You need to have the resources to do the job. You need to have the equipment to do the job. But above all, you need public support every day of the week. So that when you walk down the roads, when you walk down the streets, you know the people of Canada, the people of this region are with you. And as elected public servants, we will do everything to maintain the confidence in the police service, the confidence in the fire service, the confidence in the emergency service. Because we know what essential work you do. Our work is sometimes important, but not always essential. Your work is essential 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. We thank you for everything you do. I want to also welcome, there are some great people here in the crowd today, some of whom are proud veterans who have served our country and went ashore at D-Day. 
others who were wounded in Afghanistan, people who risked their lives a long way away to defend the freedom of others. And sometimes they left comrades and loved ones behind. War is a terrible thing. I've never met a veteran who worshipped or glorified combat. Come to think of it, I've never met a liberal or a person in public life in our party who's ever glorified combat or war. Every Canadian hates war, hates combat, hates violence. But we know one thing and we know it very clearly and we know it in our souls. You cannot defend the freedom of Canada unless you're prepared to put something on the line for the freedom of others. And these veterans have done so and I thank them in your name. As everybody knows, we're very close to a place called the Highway of Heroes, where some brave Canadians take their last journey. This is an interesting monument to the public support for our men and women in uniform. Because it started here. It started with ordinary Canadians standing on the overpasses. It started with firemen and policemen and EMS guys and the ambulance workers standing on overpasses and saying, we know what you did for our country. We care about what you did for our country. And you will not pass down this highway unnoticed, unremembered, and unhonored. And this is an enormous tribute to this community, that it saw something that needed to be done, that needed to be commemorated, that needed to be honored. And the politicians came afterwards, I'll be frank. It was the people who started it first. It was the EMS workers and the fire workers and the policemen who started first. And we're honored to follow and we will do everything we can as elected officials to make sure that the people who take risks for us are honored and respected by the men and women who serve in the Parliament of Canada. And these emotions, these deep feelings, this attachment we have to sacrifice, this attachment we have to public service, this way we honor the dead, this way we honor the fallen, we, this way we honor the people who returned with terrible memories, but memories we honor. These deep emotions have no political label. I am a proud liberal. But the things we honor from this platform don't have a political label on it. Some of you vote for us. I sure hope I can persuade everybody in this place to vote for us. But the values, the values that we are celebrating here have no political label. There are certain things in Canada that go way above and beyond politics. And that's respect for public service, respect for our military respect for sacrifice and respect for memory and respect for those medals I see over there. But I am proud as the leader of a Liberal Party that counts great leaders Trudeau, Pearson, Chrétien, Martin, Wilfrid Laurier. I'm proud to stand in that tradition. I'm proud to associate my party with these values. I'm proud to associate my party with these virtues. I'm above all stand, I'm above all proud to stand with the men and women in uniform who keep us safe. Thank you so much for listening. Let's have a wonderful day. And one more time, let's give the vets, let's give the serving men and women, let's give the men and women in uniform a great big round of applause.